On this day, you and I pray for greater faith, greater than we have ever known before in lifetime. I pray that in this moment of time, we are spiritually expanding, realizing, and able to comprehend more of God, God working in and through us, and our ability to work with God, to partner with God, and to do great things. Ours is not a life of fear. Ours is not a life of trembling. Ours is a life of faith if we consent to it. If we build ourselves into a spiritual maturity of this faith. Right now, you are having the touch of God upon you and within you. Right now. You are having an increased faith because you are willing, but also because you are ready. And right now, you are expanding spiritually to receive more of God's good. And you are believing. Deep inside of your soul, you believe that you can and will receive. You expect God to reply. You expect miracles. You expect with God to be able to do the impossible. You have faith ever increasing, ever building. Faith that is not stagnant, but always becoming more magnificent. You are, in this moment of time, not alone. You are, with God, one. And you're working to do what ought to be done by you, directed by God, doing God's will. You see daily the results of this action, this God-directed life. And daily, your faith builds, as great as it is with the touch of God touching you now. It will increase, it will strengthen, it will solidify in you to become the norm, to become the daily activity of your thinking and your actions and your life. There is a complete circulation in you, meaning that you give out faith and you receive faith. There is a complete circulation in you where you give out the very best that God and you can do and you receive back the same. You are increasing as a spiritual individual. Your soul is growing. Your soul is expanding. And so is your mind. As you no longer believe in negatives and believe in the possibilities of life, may this touch of God be in you so complete in this millisecond of time that you know, without doubt, you have been changed. And without doubt, you'll never be the same again. It is decreed for you, in Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen.